Hello awesome folks, I hope you're having an amazing day today. Today we're taking a look at Joe Devers, The Plague Lords of Ruel. It's the 13th book in the Lone Wolf series. Um, it begins uh, a third and surprising uh, chapter. I bought my book when I was a kid. Uh, it came out at my local wall books down in southern West Virginia uh, when I was shopping. I'm like, oh my gosh, they're here continuing the series because the book 13, 12, which we've already reviewed for it. Uh, is a book that really does sort of finish the series off in a couple of major ways, right? Uh, in, in the turning point, uh, and so this the the series picked up again with with thirteen, and then it will finish with this this third series. Uh, we'll finish with book 20 um, as you're taking on another level of advancement. Um, after you finish the, the, the Grand Master, uh, you're now a Grand Master Kai. You've now set up another uh, Kai order. Um, and the second order has now been set up after after it was destroyed uh, in the first book, and you were the last survivor. Uh, and then you find the book of the Magni Kai, uh, and then you have and then you set up a second order, um, and then you you advance with that in the last series, the second series, from from six to twelve. Uh, there, that that is over with. You're now at the next level, but you realize actually that there's actually super secretly a third level. Um, this this level, the skills are much like the the skills that you started with, and the skills in the second book that were just more advanced versions of it. For example, in the first books, five books, you're as as you as a psychic ranger, you have the ability to choose uh, tracking as one of your skills uh, that you can start out with or get as you advance uh, in more and more books. Um, in the next book series, you can take uh, the advanced version of that as Pathsmanship, and now Grand Pathsmanship. Um, so, you, so you have all the sort of normal ones that you would normally have, uh, and then you also have... Um, uh, so, for example, in the first book, you have Camouflage. In the second series, you have Invisibility, and now you have Assemblance. Uh, so you, those are all sort of play into the three things. Uh, but you also have two new skills that are introduced. Kai Alchemy, uh, which I started with and used three times. Uh, and Magi Magic, which lets you, which lets you cast spells. Uh, and uh, you know things about alchem alchemical processes and so forth. Uh, and so you're, so you're now... You're now so it does, does add two more skills. You start with four skills. Um, uh, I... I uh, I chose uh, Deliverance, which is the upgraded version of hearing, healing from, um, and then curing, uh, and let you gain 20 um, endurance points at one point in time during your adventure uh, during combat, which I used um, going, going through this. I also started uh, with Grand Passmanship, uh, which is the upgraded version of uh, Passmanship, uh, the upgraded version of Sixth Sense, and then Divination is Telegnosis, which I started with, uh, and then I started with... Um, uh, and then again, I started with Kai Alchemy. So those were the four that I chose to start with. All, all which of you used, although going back and rereading it, only Telegnosis was just used once, uh, and to, to to get ahead of of, of of a view of what's happening. Anyway, uh, so again, you're playing a Psychic Ranger in this game book series. Uh, you have basically you basically have skills that are psychics. Like your original skills are Mind Blast and Mind Shield that protects you from mental attacks. Uh, uh, then you can move. They have six cents in the mind over matter to move things. Uh, uh, th those will get upgraded, uh, and your powers will increase over time, which is pretty cool. And then you also have uh, some things that are happening uh, on this, the ranger side of life: tracking, uh, camouflage, hunting, uh, weapons mastery, so you can fight with weapons. Those sorts of things, right? Uh, and so you, you, right, right. So those will help you out um, and gain you skills over time, which you can upgrade. Um, so now you're going to finish up, and then starting in book 21 uh, is the, if I if I recall, this is the new order uh, that that you'll now be playing uh, Lone Wolf you, uh, Kai's uh, that are psychic rangers in this thing. Um, basically, what wound up happening in this game book series that was made it new and one of the best selling game book series that's out there. Uh, is that um, it pertain? You kept the same character from one to the other, and you kept your weapons you, that you found. You kept your items that you found. You kept your gold uh, that you found that you didn't spend. Right. You kept your skills. You gained another skill uh, in between sessions. So as you were leveling up, so that was pretty cool. Um, and the, and the books told one consistent story from book one to book twelve. Well, now you're having a sort of an adventure in book 13. Uh, so basically what's happening in the intervening time, uh, years that's happened, uh, is, is that uh, the dark area of Ruel, after you've taken out the Dark Lords, 
book 12, uh, has become the sort of the new center of evil, um, and they're launching um, a disease against the rest of the world uh, that they're vaccinated against. So you have to go there and destroy this disease in their fortress, uh, and then that's it. That's basically the story. Um, so you're going, you're heading in, and so you got to penetrate their their their, their fortress, uh, and then find what the disease is, and then take it out. And that's basically the storyline. It took me about an hour and 40 minutes for me to knock it out last night. Again, uh, it is online as a millennial gift. Um, the writer of this, Joe Dever, he gave all of his lone wolf stuff, the series and some of his other things in the book, uh, and then uh, for free uh, to fans. Uh, so they set up a website called Project Aon, and Project Aon is uh, the website that I'll link you to in the comments below. In case you're interested in reading this in a online form for free, so you don't have to spend any money. And the version that was printed here in America initially, uh, oh, this one is a. Uh, if you look here, you'll say that th this is a uh, much smaller uh, version. Uh, they take out one of your options early on for ways to get there, so you only have one way to get there. Uh, in the first, in the first, in the first section, you can choose to take the go through the mountains, or you can go through the forests. So you have two options, which will determine what, what basically things you're, you're run up against. Now, the combat in this is actually pretty hard. Uh, for example, I had a base combat skill of 41 going into this. Uh, and there, the final monster, Exterminus, has a 50 combat skill, which gives us minus, minus 9 base, although you can add your mental stuff to it uh, from previous adventures. Um, but mine, after having the summer surge and you know all these various items that I've found, like the silver helmet, and book three um, gives me a 41 combat skill when I started from 16. Um, and also lore circle uh, adventure bonuses from the previous series. Um, as, as you completed various uh, circles, your, your, your things would increase. And my endurance points is 39, uh, which is about how many you would expect because you start now with 35, 30 plus your die roll rather than 20 plus your die roll. Uh, because they're expecting that you have all the bonuses from your lore circles and from your... Uh, items like your armor and those sorts of things that you've found um, over, over the course of the experiences that you've had as an adventurer. So they assume that. So, you, so your base level adds more. Um, but anyway, uh, so, so, so the combats here are now much harder uh, than they are. Some combats are still pretty simple. Like I came across a 25 Acolyte of Ash Knight uh, combat skill, and I can't, like that, that was obviously an automatic win. Um, didn't take that long to go through, but the big one is actually pretty big. Um, and there's a lot of smaller ones as on your way. It's minor characters that you're coming across. They almost seem like random monsters that have very, they're very difficult. They have very high combat skills. Uh, so the combat one in this one is actually pretty rough, and it's pretty easy to lose. Um, there's also some random number, random number deaths here and there, too, um, that make things a little on the rougher side of life. So... You know, go, going back, you know, I probably would have chose, I probably would have swapped out the Grand Passmanship uh, for maybe Grand Hush Mastery um, in order to get some of those bonuses. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it can be a little rough at times. That's some, some of the combat in here. Uh, but there you are, The Plague Lords of Ruel. Have you read it? Um, it's also uh, published, uh, available in a collector's edition um, a few years ago. Uh, it, was, it was republished in hardcover, which is nice, uh, but there's pretty expensive on the secondary market. There wasn't that many printings because, again, they wanted to keep it as a collector's edition. Uh, and, but hardcover is much better because you don't have to go back and reread uh, this paperback version over and over and over again because the game book gets a lot of wear and tear over time. All right. So, anyway, uh, there you are. Go ahead and leave, leave you to it. Uh, I'm going to be giving this a 7 out. Yeah, probably a 7 out of 10. Uh, I thought it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun things were happening in it. It's definitely gripping. Uh, but it's not one of my favorite ones in, in this series. And it feels like a weird place to have a launching off part for a series three, uh, if you will. Uh, but I did enjoy uh, Kai Alchemy. Wish Me John Magic were used more. I think it's only used in one place uh, that I was asked to use it. To, and in that space, it also asks you if you want to use Kai Alchemy. So there's two options there. So you don't, you don't need... Um, so it doesn't really, it feels kind of superfluous um, as to a couple of other skills. Uh, but anyway, uh, there you are. I'll go ahead and leave you to it. Have you read it? What did you think of it? Uh, I'd be happy to talk with you about it. And I keep my reviews spoiler free, uh, so I don't talk about it in the spoilers. Um, but if you want to talk about spoilers or what you thought about the ending.
those sorts of things let's put it in the comments below if you enjoyed this hey why not hit that subscribe button there should be a lot more of these to follow and then finally i want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing it and watching my video we all have so many things that are happening in our lives and we're pulled in so many different directions so the fact that you spent the time with me is incredibly humbling and i appreciate it so thanks again and have an amazing day